Hi, I'm Daniel Japiasu. I'm the CEO of Y Dreams Global. We are the TSXV, symbol is YD. I've been with the company now for 10 years, and we deliver the top technologies for brands that want to create interactive experiences in the real world. We also create our own products and uh, create spin offs. Yes, it's interesting, it's a big trend now virtual reality. Uh, I would say augmented reality, you have more of a blend of the real world. So augmented reality is nothing more than a layer of digital information on top of the real world. And that can be seen uh, with devices like the HoloLens, but also you can use that in your phone like the Pokemon Go. Virtual reality is more immersive. I guess uh, you are fully inside a digital world. You don't have any reference to the external world where you are, which can be quite funny. Uh, and so you are present in a different world using goggles that cover your whole vision. And once you're there, uh, there's other, all types of experience you can live, uh, walking around or just standing around and looking 360 around you. We're very excited about our cave. This is, uh, this is our second spin-off. Uh, our cave is meant to be a platform for virtual reality gaming. The idea here is to be the fastest growing uh, arenas for VR in the world. We're creating a platform that allows three people to play together, so it's very social, because you can play with your friends. You can also see them as avatars and uh, communicate with them during the game, playing together. Uh, the other main attraction is that you're free to walk around in a room and, and play uh, several different games. And the way we're going to create a really large library of games is by allowing third parties to adapt their VR content and have a revenue share with them. Uh, I think that the, the, our strategy on Arcade is, is that we are allowing, creating new options for very advanced arcades. Uh, with fully immersive but much more affordable so we can have a larger network of arenas all over the world including shopping malls which is our main target and we have been negotiating with them they're very interested to have our product we're releasing our first store next month uh, and we're very excited about our cave we've been working with VR now for many many years uh, and augmented reality for about a decade uh, those, so those uh, always been a very big te uh, key technologies that we've been working with, helping brands to find ways to use those technologies in an interesting way, which is very important. Uh, so I think the, with, the, with the new devices and new hardware that come, we have to be on top and be able to have early access to development and be able to be the first ones developing and, and generating cases for our clients, especially the brands that like to innovate. Dubai is a very interesting place. We've been there uh, many times this year. Uh, we, we found a very strategic partner with a group that has connected to one of the sheikhs, and that brings us uh, access directly to the government aspect of Dubai, which is very important because they are very proactive, highly innovative. Uh, so we get to talk to one of the most uh, fast-growing uh, cities in the world in a really high level discussions of bringing new technology to their city. Well, uh, again, I think we have to wait until some of the uh, big hardwares uh, come and, and make them affordable so we can have a wider audience for all these technologies. But I do see that virtual reality is going to be playing a really key, uh, key role in uh, education, health, and of course entertainment. Um, I think Wide Dreams. Uh, since it has so many years of experience delivering uh, new technology, has now the opportunity to be really involved in, in the time where this technology is going to be everywhere, people's houses, stores, museums. So we're really happy to, to be living in this era.